Alena Oppenheimer and Michael Tannhäuser are the 2023 European mid-amateur champions. Both German players emerged victorious from a final round that proved to be a true roller coaster. Francis Cédric Bertin Penarin drew first blood in the men's championship, sinking four birdies on the front nine to become the new leader at minus eight. But overnight leader Marianne Ludwig replied with a brilliant eagle on the par 5 8 to retake first place at minus nine. Yet on the back nine, both men experienced tougher times on the golf course. Ludwig conceded four bogeys, as the Frenchman went through two double bogeys on the last four holes. The door was opened for pursuers like England's Ben Welsh, who shared the lead at minus eight with three holes left to play. But bogeys on the 16th and 18th made him settle for an eventual second place as Switzerland's Steven Rojas fought his way to the bronze medal. The late day proved in fact to be Michael Tannhäuser's time. After two bogeys early in the round, the German came back to even par for the day through nine holes and then finished at high pace with four birdies on the back nine. A last part on the 18th secured his victory at minus eight. It hasn't really sunk in yet, I must admit. I wasn't expecting to, to, to have a lead um, and actually to have a chance until after the, I would say, 14th, 15th. And all of a sudden I'm here winning this championship. How fantastic. I got off to a pretty bad start today and yeah, I didn't really rate my chances very high, to be very honest. I think I was, uh, I, I thought I'd, I'd have a nice finish, but uh, I didn't see myself winning. But then all of a sudden, you know, I started playing really well. I hold a lot of good putts and I think I played six under my last 13 holds. So that was excellent and that really what, what helped me win this championship. The battle was even tighter in the Women's Championship. The first 10 holes fully belonged to Germany's Alena Oppenheimer, making four birdies in a row from the third to the sixth. But the overnight leader put everyone back on track with a triple bogey on the par 3 11th. Belgium's Céline Manche joined the lead at minus three with her third birdie of the day on the 14th and a bogey from her playing partner. Playing in the penultimate group, Ireland's Jessica Ross put herself in contention with back-to-back -back birdies on 14 and 15. But on the 18th green, she missed the putt that would have set the clubhouse lead at minus three. Saving a solid par on the 17th, Céline Manche reached the green in regulation on the final hole, but she missed a three-footer, setting up a three-way playoff with Ross and Oppenheimer. On the par for ninth, the German player was the only one able to make par winning the title in sudden death. After um, I made the par on 18 and I knew I was in the playoff, it felt like momentum was on my side. And I, I thought about playing kind of more risky, but then thought, it's no, it doesn't make sense. It's like, it's, it's another golf hole like all the others, all the other 18 holes. So I'll stick to my game plan and try to play it smart, not take too much risk, especially with that pin position. I, I can't quite believe it yet. I'm extremely happy. I'm very proud of myself. Um, and I think I need to let it sink in and realize it. Both champions will have the opportunity to cross the Atlantic in September. For the first time, they earned an invitation to the US Mid-Amateur Championships. I actually read about it last night and I thought, well, it would be nice. I've never been to the US, so yeah, I think I'm gonna take that opportunity. I really like going to the US Mid-Amateur Championship. I, I really look forward to participating. It'll be a great experience. I did try to qualify once in my life. I did not make it. Uh, now making it this way feels even sweeter. And I will try my best to defend the European and the German flag um, in that championship. <laughs>